What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys not only a trending haircut, but also a perm. That's right, uh, I said it, a perm. Uh, this is one of the biggest trends in men's and kids' hair right now. Uh, and we're gonna be starting it off using the FSE Precision Elite Scissor at six and a half inch. Uh, we're gonna be doing some scissor over comb work. Uh, this is part of our Elite Series line. It's made with Japanese VG10 steel, um, and we're doing it using CNC Precision Precision technology uh, to make the scissors affordable for you guys and the best quality scissors. So uh, definitely check that out on our website, freesaloneducation.com. So as I start the haircut, you'll notice my scissor over comb work started at the top of the section. The reason I do that is I want to pick my length uh, and then kind of work my way down. Also, when you're doing scissor over comb, um, it's helpful to get that bulk out of there before you start working your way from top or from bottom to top. So um, just cut your length, work your way down section by section. I use the scissor blade. It's nice and long to kind of part off the section, lift it up, and I match up the left side the same exact way. So I comb the hair up. Up, you see me kind of push the hair down with the scissor blade um, that's all part of that motion so if you guys get a chance just really practice that and then once I get it almost to the length that I want then I'll work uh, bottom to top like I said uh, just opening and closing that blade now you want a steady blade at the bone of the comb and then your um, moving blade should work through it you should only be using your thumb so practice that as well and we're gonna do the same thing around the back of the head just working our way through it lifting up that hair using the scissor to part the part the hair put it into the comb and then working our way up One thing about the Precision Elite scissor line, uh, whether it's a five inch scissor or a six and a half inch scissor, we have every size uh, and both hands, um, is that it has a reinforcement on the blade. So when you look at the images on our website, you'll see uh, kind of the bone or part back end of the blade is thicker. And what that does is it adds that extra power into the blade. So when you go to cut, even though it's a six and a half inch blade, you don't lose any strength in the cut. So now I'm gonna blow dry and kind of look through the cut, make sure everything looks balanced, um, lengths look good. I'm using a paddle brush to do that, but it's a nice gentle paddle brush. Uh, and this tool is cool. Uh, Babyless sent me this. Um, it, the battery can actually be removed from the trimmer, so it's really a time saver because it comes with two batteries and you can use it and change it out if you run out of battery. So you never have to work corded at all. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool. So thank you to them for sending that out to me. So I'll work around the ear. I use my Velcro clips just to kind of keep the bulk of the hair out of the way and then work my way around the ear using that trimmer. Now, obviously, if it was a real ear, I would lift that ear down or pull it away and cut around it as well. But that Velcro clip is nice and helpful. Uh, now I switch, same exact scissor, but it's our rose gold series, just kind of showing you guys all the different uh, options that we have out there. But just going through fine tune, uh, same scissor over comb technique when it's dry, just to really just check it out. So now I'm just showing you guys uh, how we're gonna lay out the perm. We're gonna do a brick lay perm. Um, and you know, I'm not a perm expert, but I've been doing perms for, for a long time. Um, I start off the, the rods in the crown area and I work them back towards me. So we're rolling them back off the head. That's where that hair is gonna fall. So I wanna make sure that I'm kind of working that same pattern. I'm not trying to build up volume in the crown. So just those first three rollers are gonna be back towards me. Then once I'm above the crown, then I'll work everything forward because that's how it's gonna be worn. So you wanna really make sure when you are perming, especially short hair, you wanna be perming it in the direction it's gonna go um, unless you're trying to create a ton of volume. So the way the brick lay works, you, I kind of have two diagonal uh, sections and then one right in the center and you just crisscross them as you work through it and I do that all the way down. The reason I chose uh, more of a brick lay feel to it was um, to have it a little more blended. Um, than just being a standard kind of roll forward. And that was just a personal opinion on me. Uh, so we get the perm wrapped in there. Um, I'm using Paul Mitchell perm uh, alkaline wave, uh, real easy. You don't even have to mix a solution with anything. You just kind of put it on there, wait 25, 30 minutes. 
and then look at that wave that you get with it. Um, I use a diffuser just to really give you guys an end result. Now we're going to go in with the hybrid elite. This is our dry cutting scissor. You can see that part of it is slide cutting. Part of it is precision cutting. That's why we call it hybrid. I do a lot of slide cutting just to blend the top with the sides. I don't want it to fully blend though. And then I use that precision tip of the hybrid elite to be able to cut a line in the fringe. So that's what makes this scissor uh, so versatile. Again, also has the VG10 Japanese steel. Finish it off with a little spray wax from Paul Mitchell. And here is our end result. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Go check out uh, the Elite Series Scissors on freesaloneducation.com. Thanks for watching.